Yas, hey, Yas, 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 Wes, hey, Chucks, with my in the studio. You listen to WACI 88.9 broadcasting live from Heidelberg University. You listen to Birds and the Bees radio show. This is Juice. Talking to Randy, Avery, and Kells. What's up? What's going on with y'all today? Oh, yeah. Glad what's to up, be man? back, baby. Every time. You know it. You know it. I mean, we in here rest, man. We we going through some things right now. <laughs> but, I mean, it's all good. You know, Ain't we still going to have a good show today for y'all. We still got some good topics. You know, a whole bunch of stuff to talk to, talk about. You know, it's Wordplay Wednesday, of course. So y'all know we just time to have some fun with that. My man Randy said he got yeah, some bars man. for y'all. Definitely got some bars for y'all, man. It's Wordplay Wednesday. We want to hear all the callers. Call in, you know what I'm saying? Get y'all get bars off. I know Kendall got some. You know, you know what I'm I saying? do. And we need somebody to take the crown, bro. So like, <laughs> we got to see what y'all working with today, though. I don't think anybody can take the crown from me. That's what I do. I don't know what you're talking about from him, from, but um, I have the crown, ladies and gentlemen. You're going to have to take Randy off the crown first. It ain't got to be all freestyles either. It's poems, you know, whatever you got. Okay. Whatever type of wordplay you got, call in and spit it. Spoken word. Spoken word, short stories, poems, whatever you want to do. You know it. But we got some hot topics lined up. You know, we got to keep it keep it light and keep it real at the same time, as we always do. No question. No question. Let me, um, let's, let's talk about these topics real quick while we at it, while we, you know what I'm saying? The first we, time, we can get in them a little bit. Can't, little can't bit. let them. Can't let it. Let them know all the way. You feel me? Yeah. We, just a little brief introduction. Um, we definitely got um, a very, very controversial topic um, today. Um, definitely something we want to hear the uh, the ladies' opinion on. Yeah, you know, y'all definitely got to call in and let us know about that. The best input. You know what I'm saying. But, yeah. Um, the topic is abortion, and uh, whether your your stance is uh, pro life or pro choice. I'm saying we wanna we wanna see where you stand on that. Then you know we we always got something going for y'all for uh you know for dating you know going on dates you know y'all love them y'all love them topics so you know we gonna get into them a little bit you know today was National Sign Day you know we gonna talk about the high school all the high schools out there the seniors that started you know headed off to school you know with their scholarships so you know we real proud of them. Oh yeah definitely. And then of course you know I mean it's Word Play Wednesday so we got a lot of stuff up lined up you know we gonna slide it in here and there y'all know how we do. I'm so out of it right now. It's all good, Pick man. Up, I'm man. telling you, man. We, we, Dude, we're going to be good today, man. Yeah, we're going to be good today, though, man. man. They just had to. It's we, all we, good. We've been sitting up here trying to do everything, man. Everything that we can do. They possibly. had somebody all in before us and everything. Oh my and it, God, it, it, man. We, we was rushed. We couldn't even get in and set up how we wanted to. Oh but, man, it's all good. We're going to make it happen. We're still going to make it happen. Bring y'all a good show because y'all know how we do it. Oh, man. We about to go to work now. I'm yeah, kind of salty. It's all good. Pick somebody, man. Somebody, somebody, somebody just signed us off, man. It's I'm, all good, I'm man. not feeling it right now. It's birds and the bees. We'll be right back, man. Whatever, man. It's to these topics. I'm all giving my feelings, but I ain't yeah, about to drink in here, man. Yeah, we got to get yeah, yeah, drinking, man. man. We're going to make sure he don't drink. I'm getting drink, real salty in here right now. But all to right. this topic, though. Why you yelling? Yeah, he tripping. Man. See, so <laughs> that's the first topic, you know. No, y'all know my mic be playing around with me. <laughs> yeah, man. I'm right around the most. We got the almighty controversial abortion topic. Oh. We want to know what's, what's going on with this. <laughs> we want to know what's going on with this abortion topic. Woo. We want to know how y'all feel, man. And then y'all always talking about how we be bashing females on the show. We want to have the females call in oh, yeah. and express their opinions. Look, man, this is a real topic. You know, you're not about to call in. Oh, bro. Don't they, say that, they man. They need to call in. They're going to have to call in, man. It's too real of a topic. Look, man, I'm trying to spark something real. Well, okay, you want somebody to call in, tell them the number then, man. <laughs> Dude, y'all know the number, man. Y'all got a number. 419-448-2200. Again, 419-448-2200. Hold sure on. You lock it in, man. But I want to know. Randy, yeah, how you go, feel about yeah, abortion? Let's go, let's go, let's go, let's go on in around, go around. Why, Randy? I want Randy first. Tell me what you feel about it. We were talking about it earlier, too. Yeah, your girl get pregnant right now. What's, what's going on? Oh, God. <laughs> oh, God. Is she listening? Mom, <laughs> that will never happen. <laughs> really? Somebody calling already? Birds and the bees, what's going on? You live on air. You already know it, I'm based. You can't from a distance. <laughs> That's good, That's good, bro. Portion, only because I don't feel like you should tell somebody, you know, like make a law saying somebody can't, you know. If I feel like this is not the right time in my life, or if the girl feels like this is not the right time in her life, you know, then let's do it. I'm, I'm kind of against late-term abortion, though, because you can do the late-term abortion right now, and that's, 
that's like when you know it's really something in there. But like if you catch it like month one, I'm cool with it, you know. But you know, I just feel like you can't really, you can't like just because you don't like abortion, don't put a law on it and tell me I can't get one. You know, like just because you might like chicken, don't mean you know I don't like it. You know, whatever. Like I just feel like they they try to limit people's you know ability to make their own decisions, and I, I don't agree with that at all. I like to be able to make my own choices. I totally agree with you, yeah, Andre. I hear where you're coming from, man. Right. All right, now you said uh, you said you're cool with the one month into it. You know what I'm saying? If, if the belly popping out there, how far along do you cut it off? Where you say, all right, this is the line. Where, uh, this is where I draw the line. Sorry. See, every female is, is different too. A lot of people don't realize that you know not every baby takes as long. Like for example, I was born three months early. Right. So at one month. I was probably lightweight further along, you know, than most, so that would have been crazy. But the, with the t- technology we got now, you can tell how developed what's in you is. And if it's not, you know, at that real life form form yet, then I feel like it's cool. But if, if you don't win and you can see, you know, a, a, a leg, you know, a leg and an arm forming, then you probably, you know, lightweight too, too far to, to, to do that, you know. Definitely a tricky topic, man. Uh, Definitely a tricky topic. What you saying, though, bro? For real. Yeah. I'm listening. I'm here. I'll mess with y'all. All right, bro. Appreciate it. All right, good luck, bro. Just like that. Wow. It's real. We didn't get the chance to say what we want to. What's going on? Hello? Yeah, what's your take? I wanted to add in something with that. Um, I don't, I mean, I don't completely agree that, um, I mean, I do feel like every woman should have a choice, but it should definitely be some type of cutoff date for somebody being able to get an abortion because you can technically get abortions in certain places at five or six months. And at that point, your baby is damn near developed. And they have to go and get surgery. Wait, 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 listen to me, listen to me. Hold on, you got, you got the cussy, you got to keep that to yourself. That's all good. All right, but I don't think that Somebody should necessarily have control over whether or not you should keep your child, but you shouldn't be able to get an abortion at six and seven months. And I mean, yeah, babies, like I heard him say, babies are like he was born early and so at a month. I mean, at a month, you're not any more um, developed than a regular baby that's developed at a month. Like, that doesn't make sense. Okay, see, I see what you're saying. It makes sense. I agree with you on that. That's definitely a good point. Right. So, like, I mean, like, just like, for instance, like, if a, a girl is raped, she may not want to keep her child and be reminded every day that, you know, that that's her raping baby, so she should have a choice that she wants to, or even if she got pregnant by a boyfriend, she should be able to choose whether or not she wants to keep her child, but when you start talking about five or six months, you're still trying to get an abortion in three months. Like you said, you came early, so if you never know, that baby could have came next month, and you pretty much killing a fully developed baby, like, so... All right, I got a question for you. If you got pregnant right now, what are you doing? What would I do? Yeah. I don't know. I don't know. That man tricked you. Well, how old are you? 21. So what you going to do? You 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 going to shoot or dribble? <laughs> <laughs> What's shooting? Uh, shooting is... is it's keeping it. <laughs> Dribbling is, is you know, to, you know, I, I can't do this right now. I'm, I'm in school. I'm uh, doing this. I'm trying to get this career. I'm, you know, what I'm saying I can't handle it. Um, I don't know. I don't see myself having a kid right now. But I definitely don't see myself going through with the first thing today. Okay. Okay. Thank you for uh, yeah, you talking. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you for calling in. You're welcome. All right. I spared her too, man. They wanted to bang on her so bad. She has some real input. Oh, God. Phone line for oh, again. Wow. They need to get a chance to talk. Birds and the bees, what's going on? Yeah, yeah. Yeah, what's up, bro? How you doing? What's your take on this? What? You tell me to turn on this radio. Well, turn hey, on your radio. Turn on your radio. I know you're you trying to hear yourself on the radio and all that, man, but we can't even hear you over here. Yeah. Man, man. Got <laughs> <laughs> oh, man. Ah, even know who that was? No, nah, man. He oh, called it talking about who's this, man. He was the silliest. Wow. But we heard ourselves in the background. Yeah, we heard ourselves in the background. Clearly, he knew. He knew who he was calling. Yeah. All right, wait. Now, back to Randy. Yeah, I want Randy to finish yeah, telling me. Yeah, what yeah, he, 
That's um, it's definitely a real chicken top. Wow. Oh my god. <laughs> oh my god. Oh my god. Birds and the bees, you live on there. Hey, it's Tara. Hey. Hey. Yeah, I had to call in for this top for this topic because everybody just I don't understand. But <laughs> Whoa, 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 whoa. She's in the bathroom. Clear it up. Clear it up. Oh, God, she must have rebel. She doesn't care if I have rebel. No, I'm like, people are saying the baby is more developed at five months. Well, obviously, but a heart starts beating 18 days after conception. So, I mean, I'm not for abortion, but I'm not against it either. I mean, like, I think it's for the situation. It sounds to me like you're pro-choice. Why is because I have a kid, but <laughs> I just I don't think it's right. It is just like you're having unprotected sex. You already know the outcome, so protect yourself. It's not always unprotected. Trust me. Well, she's not on birth control. She's not taking the proper precautions not to cause this. Like y'all trying to bang on me? No, we here. No, we're, here. Here. We're, we're listening to you. You just, you know what I'm saying? You're not covering every scenario. You're just saying, you know, if she's not taking proper precautions, if he's not wearing the condom, you know what I'm saying? But that's not, it doesn't always go like that. Things happen. I know someone who was on birth control and, and wore a condom and still got pregnant. You know what I'm saying? Like, things like that still happen. Still There's happen. always that 1% chance. You know what I'm saying? What in situations? Yeah, see, yeah, you always salty, man. Either way, well, like, like, like I said, man, it's not a weather situation. This is a real life situation, but you know what I'm saying? Things happen. You know, at, at a point like that, though, for me, I feel like, you know, if you on birth control and you still have the baby or you wear a condom, you still have a baby, like, it's meant to be. You need to just have that baby. There's no point in aborting it at that point because, you know, that's just it's just supposed to happen. That's God's signal right Yeah, it's a signal, like, you know what I'm saying? It's got to happen. If you went... Took the precautions and it's still having to. You might as well keep the baby. Well, yeah, that's different. But you know, people are out here, just out here, and having multiple abortions. Like, I just feel like people are saying, "Well, the ba it's okay if the baby is only a month old." It's their choice. The real individual. But it's their choice. Up in there, vacuuming it out, and what's it, what? Man, that's thing. You have a biased opinion. What's wrong with you? No, my wow. pen is not biased. I'm pro-choice. I just told you. Wow. <laughs> oh, you gonna serve her? I don't want to have to serve her. I'm, I'm, I'm trying to spare you, Sataran. <laughs> I'm ready. I'm ready. You cook for me. <laughs> serve her. Look, what you serve the server. <laughs> Look, man. I, I don't have a biased opinion. You know what I'm saying? I feel like, like I told you, I feel like you still had a baby if you take the precautions and you still get pregnant. But I said, you know, if you know everybody should have a choice, just like the girl who last call said. You know, if you were to get raped and be pregnant, you should have the choice of whether or not you want to avoid it or not. Regardless of whether you're 18 days in or two months in, you should have the uh, the choice to do it. Because maybe you were scared to come out and tell people that you got raped and you didn't know you were pregnant. There are people who don't know they're pregnant until like two or three months. Like things like that happen. Yes, things happen. People should have choices. But I'm just saying, for people that are just out here doing whatever they want to, like, I don't knock your opinion at all because I somewhat agree. People should have a choice, but if, like I said, you're not taking precautions, then you already know what's going to happen. And you, I know you know people that have had multiple abortions. Like, don't try to flip the script. Like, oh. let me ask you right now. So today, if they brought that ballot in front of you, would you circle pro-choice or would you be against it? I. Mm. You will be against it. That's all I need to know. Thanks Dang for calling in today. Dang <laughs> Dang on her. <laughs> wow. Oh, you know she's out of here. You know what I'm saying? She she had a nice she had a nice case, man. I love that she called in. Oh guys, this is Terry going back again. That yeah. can't be hurt, man. It it's too quick. Hey, we go we gonna give y'all a short break, man, and let y'all come up with some you know some good things to talk about. Cause Terry, she came with some fire, but she just she didn't have the gasoline. She wasn't there. No, 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 we're going to break. No, we're going to break. You talk that back to that. I'm tired of this. Where's the beef? We out of here. Oh, my God. Where's the beef? Hey, where's the beef? You got to let him know. Hey, we need all that feedback from y'all. Definitely. But as for me, man, like, I feel that abortion 
is that I'm, I definitely pro-choice myself, man. I feel like a, a female should always have the choice to do what she needs, to, she feels she needs to do. Regardless, I mean, of course, I mean, the male should have, like, some say in it. You know what I mean? Because they both, you know, they, they did what they did. But at, at the same time, man, I mean, it's a, like, like Satara said, there's a lot of circumstances that play in, you know, with, with rape and, you know, just not taking pr the proper precautions. So, like, I feel that if they should definitely have a choice, always. I mean, I, I, I don't feel like you should be able to tell a female what she can and cannot do with her body. And then on top of that, it's definitely... It's emotionally taxing for a female, like because you know some some females develop attachments with their babies, right. and you know when it comes down to actually having an abortion, it it it's, it's hard for them it's to real. let go. Like it, it's real. So I mean, it it definitely should be their choice all the way, hundred. Oh yeah, man. It's wait, hold on, wait. I got a question. So juice. No, no, no. You, you said you said a tweet first. Right now. You said a tweet first. Say tweet first, and then you talk about what you just said. Dude, yeah, all right. My dude, Sean, hit me up and said we cut off a banger. So. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> so, yeah. All right, but uh, let me, uh, so Juice, if, if, if one of your females or your girlfriend, I don't know yeah. what's going on with you right now. <laughs> one of your people, oh, you know how I got, oh, one of your like people. Oh, 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 hey, so, what's Juice going low key? Uh, if you get pregnant right now, what you going to do? I'm telling you, the option will be on her. So you telling me you would, you know, you wouldn't fork up that... Three hundred dollars, or you know, you oh, would just, God. you know, you would tell like, you know what, it's all on you. Hey, no, 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 no. That's what she decided. If, if we we came to the decision that she was gonna have an abortion, boom, yeah, it's, it's gotta happen then. But what would you choose? Like, if it was up, to, she said it's up to you. I want you to choose. What would you do? Oh yeah, it's definitely. I I definitely have to pick the abortion, man. That's that's what I need to know. All right, go ahead, Randy. Finish and let us know what's about you. was trying to whoop me like I wasn't going to answer this question. <laughs> <laughs> you trying to whoop me like I wasn't going to answer this question. I told her to her, man. I'm just going to let my girl choose. You better go on, man. Like, <laughs> what's wrong with this man? Yeah, man. Hey, go ahead, man. I myself, I'm definitely pro-choice. Um, I feel like a woman should be able to make her own decisions. You know what I'm saying not just the woman, but the parents. They, they both had it. Um, they both did the deed themselves. So they both should be able to decide um, what happened and what's going on. Shout out to Robin. She's in the building right now. Oh, uh, dude, try that's to what you doing here. It's all good. You gonna talk? Yeah, you gonna say something today? We're talking about abortion. <laughs> she gonna say something right now. How you feel about abortion? I'm gonna throw you in here. I don't care. You yeah, shy? You gotta say something. She's in here now. Dude, she's the woman that makes everything happen for YouTube videos. Clap, 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 clap. Hey, y'all clap it up for Robin real quick. What's happening? Yeah. 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 number to clear to clear some things up. But what was y'all talking about? She's trying to abortion. help herself. Oh Let's know what you feel, bro. Yeah, man, I'm definitely pro-choice. Um, I feel like the parents, both of them were involved in, in the act, so they both should be allowed to make the decision. Dude, Dude it's basically bad. Not call <laughs> you can't answer. <laughs> <laughs> I had to bang on you. I'm so sorry. Basically, man, you can't call, man. I had to talk real quick, man. Now, let me go ahead and here, finish man. the question. If you did, hypothetically, yeah, get in that situation, what yeah, do you do? It's definitely a tough situation, but uh, I would sit down and talk to my girl. And my opinion is I'm not ready for a child, and... Um, Neither is she. I well, feel like I'm too young for it. What would your mother say, Randy? Oh, yeah. Randy would yeah, have a baby. black eye. <laughs> yeah, man, Randy would be out of here. <laughs> you know? If you get in that situation right now, what do you do? Answer. Just answer. Yeah. Answer. If you get in that um, situation, what do you do? <sighs> that baby would have to go, sadly, because of the fact that I am a college student. Um, I don't have enough means Yo. to support the child yeah, at this yeah, moment, and I don't want to be one of those guys yeah, who have to go Jimmy. put my baby off t onto my, like my grandparents or my mother. And I just I wouldn't want to do that. And also, I wouldn't want I wouldn't want to be the guy where my child had to grow up in a fatherless home like I did. So I couldn't do that. I'd rather wait for the moment where I'm actually ready and I can actually support my child. I could be in her life. Definitely, bro. I, like I mean, that. I feel what you're saying on that, bro. Because I mean, like that's a, that's a whole another topic for a whole another day. But at the same time, you know. If we ready to, you know, to get out here and, and mean, do the stuff, we got to be prepared for the consequences to go with it. And at the same time, you know, we got to step up and be the, like, you know, take the role as a father because, you know, I mean, that's what it's going to require. We can't be out here playing around, playing like little boys when, you know, we doing mad things. So we got to, you know, we got to step up and do what we need to do. You feel me? Oh yeah, man. That's a real, that's a real life decision. Uh, you made the man decision to do what you did, and you got to deal with the consequences. Um, and and that's what that is. But like my take on it is it's definitely tricky though because like um, I agree, but I feel like there shouldn't be abortions all the way through. Like at a certain point, there's a line where um, I feel like the second trimester you shouldn't be able to get um, abortions. Well, there is a line. Point. There is a line. There's definitely. I know there is a line. line. I know there is, but, and, but the line should stay there. Some people that <laughs> feel like um, that are really pro-choice, they feel like abortion should be able to go within an eight month, nine months. You know. 
But abortion is not just the only choice, man. My sister just texted me. She said that um, adoption is a choice too. It's adoption a choice too. A choice. But I feel like after a woman that. has that baby, yeah, she's she can't give it up. It's so tough, man. Like you, you don't know what you mean. Did you know that um, when you choose to give your baby for adoption, they won't let the mother hold the child because it's gonna be too much of an attachment. Bro, that's wild. Right, man. That's crazy. I didn't, know that. I didn't even know that. Yeah. yeah. Well, yeah. Like I said, like yeah, right now, I was premature myself. I was like, I was more like Aubrey. I was born. Um, six months in, and I popped out. I was one one pound nine ounces, and like I was so frail and like fragile, like as a child, like um, and I was just sick and everything like that growing up. And the doctors told me it was going to be like a real, real li rough life for me. And I was like, I wasn't supposed to be um, as well as as I am today. I was wasn't supposed to make it. And like if they just thinking like I could have been aborted if my parents had that in their, in their minds, and thank God they didn't. But you know what I'm saying that could have been that could be a child. You know what I'm saying so that's how I feel about it. It should definitely be a cutoff point. Yeah, man, this man to find the eyes something I'm crazy, man. If y'all know Randy, Randy standing the six foot four today. So, <laughs> oh man, definitely, man. It's a blessing. Definitely though, but um, yeah, man, y'all keep calling in. Hey, this is the new topic though. You know what I'm saying? I just thought about this when we was on his you know, we chilling. Man. So you know what I'm saying? We we need to know what's going on. All right. So we want to know like if yo significant other was to go to jail would you hold them down and i want you to know like you know how long would it take for, for them to go to jail for you not hold them down like you know like oh he's going to jail for a year i can't wait a year or you know what i'm saying he gonna go to jail for like three months i can definitely take that like i need to, i want to know would y'all hold them down if they went to jail or not you know what i'm saying so I mean, this is this a banger topic. Who really yeah. out there riding? Who who riding for that man? That's what I need to know because I know uh, uh, a couple of dudes about, doing some things they ain't supposed to do. Man, I'm not talking about like I'm not talking about like I'm not talking about like y'all sitting up here and he gonna go to jail for a couple of years and y'all gonna have y'all do until he get back out. I'm talking about like y'all really ain't doing nothing right to go see that writing and go see that man and everything. They love it. Somebody's excited. Oh God. Oh. Birds and the bees, what's going on? It's dead. This is her. What's good? We already yeah. knew it was your boy. She said it's <laughs> <laughs> I'm not in the nation no more. And know that they said, man, not me. So Y'all need to chill. But no, I'm not holding nobody down to go to jail. I just don't have time. Like, what? Why are you in jail? <laughs> well, hello? well you, you would know why he's in jail. Because he's your man. But, uh... You know, if you love that man, like, you know, let's say y'all been together for two years, you know what I'm saying? You really love him, like, y'all had a solid relationship, and, you know, he slipped up, he did some, you know, something he wasn't supposed to do, it might be accidental, something, you know, as soft as, like, you know, like, accomplice or, you know, receiving stolen property, and he go to jail. Would you hold him down? Hmm? No. Wow. I don't have time, and I'm going to have to so you tell me the day, he, the, day he gets, the day he gets indicted is the day your relationship is over. Yes. That's all I heard. Even well, before he sent this in. I, why do why don't you have standards? Why are you messing with somebody that's in jail? And like you about to put some you about to put money on a book. What? You sound like you, you sound like you didn't been through this before. <laughs> I see what you're saying, man. Oh, you might have to do it again. He ain't trying to go down that road. I know the words, man. Like, he probably cheated on you in jail. That's probably what it was. <laughs> <laughs> no, I've never been through this, but I just feel like it's a waste of time to hold somebody down that's in jail. Like, I'm not going to be the one to be wasting your time on somebody that's doing stupid stuff to go to jail. But let me ask you this. Let me, let me hit you with something crazy right now. So what if... The reason he in jail is because of, like, I don't know if you watch Empire or something like that, but if he was sitting up here and he trapped and he did everything for you, he made sure you was cool and the fat house, made sure Caden was cool, made sure everything was great. But I would never put myself in that situation where somebody is taking care of me and my child that I would have to hold them down. You don't know, man. You can't say, you can't say never. I'm sorry? You can't say never. You never know. Well... If I was in that situation, then I would have no choice but to hold him down. Like, if he was paying my bills and made sure I was straight no matter what, that's different. But I'm independent. I pay my own bills. I have my own car. I work. I do everything for myself. That's great. But see, <laughs> you know, where, 
What I want to know is, so you say you're not holding him down regardless. Like you never, you you ain't even wait to his sentence. Like he could have, he could have got off clean. Like they could have said he ain't even really do nothing. Like you wait, you ain't even wait till he got his sentence in, and you already breaking up with him. He could have did that. Right. Right. So so you would hold him down up to three months. Yeah. It's a time. It's a time. But entertainment will be on the side. Wow. 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 She is cutting yeah. wow. So you're telling me. Next question I was going to ask. So you're telling, so you're telling me. So you're telling me that if this man goes to jail for three months, this guy that you love for two years, he goes to jail for three months, you know, 90 days, you will have a side dude. They're lying. Whoever tells you that they're going to hold their dude down the whole entire time they're in there, they're lying. I'm sorry. You mean the whole 90 days? No, longer than 90 days. So you said three months. I said three months. I'm saying anybody that lies. So maybe other would do She's losing. She's not getting banged on. I'm talking about even it's not working right it's now. Not bad. I'm talking about the three month scenario that you gave me. You went holding off for that 90 days. I would. I said that. But it would be entertainment on the side. What the? Explain entertainment on the side. Oh my God. Explain entertainment on the side. Right. Ooh. What the? What? No, no. You might as well. Explain you might as well break up with him. No, explain it. That's not even holding me back. Hold on. Hold on. Explain entertainment on the side. Like, I would probably be going out with, not going out, but like being on dates. That's going out. God, that's going out, man. You know, you were great. Thanks for talking. Thanks for talking. You were great today. You know, I like when you call in, man, because you always just come in with some crazy stuff. You know, thanks for giving us your word, man. It was nice. Thanks, Terry. We love you, but you played around. Now you gotta get banged on. Bang. <laughs> wow. Wow. Sir, man. I swear to wow. God, man. That was, oh, man. that was the next question I had to I had to bring up though. Hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. But we can't but we can't sit up here and judge her because that's still her opinion. Oh, we're not judging. Nobody's judging. I just think it's crazy. Entitled to her opinion. Oh yeah, of course. Is this our callback, man? Somebody, somebody <laughs> call it's just not her. Hey, somebody call 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 her. Hey, somebody she gonna let us know the real because she being anonymous so go ahead and talk to us then you don't want your man to know so we feel it go ahead and tell us about it <laughs> this this how i feel it, it, it's, it's a couple different factors in all of this now if he like like uh her girl said before you know three months like that i hold you know i hold him down if there's a child involved and say he got like five years or something like that then I'll probably hold him down because it's a possibility he can get out. Now, anything longer than that, depending, it really depends on, you know, what he did, I, I probably couldn't do it. You know, and, and I feel like our relationship was, was really strong. You know, if he didn't want me to be happy, he would want me to, you know, move on. I don't want you out here sad and all that type of stuff. I would want you to, to move on and be, and be happy. You know, I, would, I might write some letters, you know, here and there and say, hey, you're still on my mind, hope everything is okay. But I would hope that he wouldn't want me out here sad or even if it was here. I hope that, you know, my kid would know that, hey, your daddy is in jail, but, and he can go visit him, but mommy needs to move on and be happy and live her life. Or maybe he even wants you to hold him down the whole time. <laughs> How would your new boyfriend feel about you? Sending letters to your ex telling him that you still think about him and you yeah, still want him around. Right and it just doesn't, that does yeah, not yeah. make sense because if you were my girlfriend, I wouldn't want you keeping old ties with your ex. Hold on, Kendall. Hold on, Kendall. Hold on. Don't cut me off. You should have said what I have to say. Then you can get out of here. What? 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 If there's a child, if, but if there's a child involved, my child's gonna know who his father is, where, you know, where his father is, and things like that. But, like I said, I think that, you know, he, she would, he should and would want me to be, you know, happy and not, you know, my friends are going, you know, having kids and having families and I'm sitting here and I can only see you maybe once a month. Okay. Yeah. yeah I out here just sad. You can't help her out. You can't do anything for her. But let me but let me ask you the same question that I asked Satara. What if 
you didn't have to worry about anything? What if you didn't have to be out here doing anything? Like, you could literally sit on your butt all day, sip some wine, watch Lifetime, send your kids to school, wait till they come back, feed them dinner, put them to sleep, and you still about to watch a Lifetime. What if he set you up like that? Would you stay by him then? I don't think, honestly, I don't think I could. And I, if he were, were to say, you know, hey, I got all this out here and stuff. If he's in there, if he's in there for life, I, I, I don't know. I don't think I could, I still couldn't do that. I do, you know, they, you know, this is it, cool. I love you, but it, it would have to be a breakup. You know, I'm sorry for everything. All this money, all this house, and all that stuff. But be on all your books. You can have all this that. I don't want to uh, remind you of something that I can't see and touch every day. But that's just me. I'm a, I'm a hopeless romantic, so. But you just said you would send that man no. So you would remind yourself every time you sent him letters that you want to be with him or still want to talk to him about she what was going on. Couldn't. Oh, no, no, okay. Hold I, on. I couldn't. All right, hold on. I said I'll give him all that stuff back. It would be a breakup. And, like, you know, I, because I can't see you and things like that all the time, then... It's it done and over with. But b before you said something different, but that that's great. Either all right. So you telling me, all right? I want to know if you if you had that three month period, you know, like she said, with the three months she loved him for two years, he goes to jail for three months. Would you have to have a side dude, or would you be faithful to just him, or would you give it all up? No, nah, that's that's out of pocket today. I wouldn't. If he didn't have for three months, I I didn't even say it here. I wouldn't. I wouldn't be out here doing her wrong and doing dirt and like that. That's ridiculous. Yeah. I said I'm gonna hold you down and that's what I'm gonna do. Yeah. Yeah, I also thought three months was ridiculous, but uh <laughs> thanks for calling in, man. You uh hold on, hold on, hold on. Randy, you got something nah, to say? Nah, bro, I'm gonna let her I'm gonna let her get her she's good. Talk to her, she's cool, she's cool, she's nice. I'm good, man. Good I don't need to talk to her, I need to talk to everyone. Oh god. But well, thanks for <laughs> calling, calling in, man. Problem. Alright. Hold, hold on, hold on. Cut that on, man. Okay, okay. I understand. Okay, we didn't got a couple females' perspectives. I understand y'all ain't staying. That's y'all. Bottom line, my my sister said the same thing. Everybody seems everybody seems to be saying the same thing. But let's flip it. Let's flip it one time, right? Let me hear the dude's perspective. Would y'all stay? I need to ask y'all right now. Would y'all stay? Y'all girl with the jail? <laughs> hey, man, jail hey wild, bro. Listen, man. Oh, or my bad. Or would y'all want her to stay if y'all was in jail? All right, listen, man. I'm gonna go that's, ahead that's, and put it like that's this. Good, though. We're going you know, to it, bro. Depending on the time, man. You know what I'm saying? Petty three months, I would want her to stay around. But, you know, she got to talk about five years and stuff. Like, I would want her to be happy. You know what I'm saying? I, you don't got to stay around if I'm going to jail for five years. Like, that's that's a long time. You know what I'm saying? You know what I'm saying? Like, I, I would want you to move on with your life. Like, I want you to be happy. You don't got to, like, dwell on the past or nothing. You know what I'm saying? I feel like you should be able to move on and, and keep going with your life and not have to worry about me being a burden to you. But, you know what I'm saying, three months, you're talking about 90 days, you know what I'm saying? Yo, people's license get suspended for longer than 90 days, you know what I'm saying? Exactly. I'm a witness. You know what I'm saying? Definitely. You're talking about a, a little 90 days, though. Birds and bees, what's going on? If I got locked up and sent you to a court of century, would you be there to support me, nigga? Get her out of here! She's <laughs> the worst type of woman ever. What if I really went down for something like that I couldn't control? Oh, and now I'm just down, I'm depressed. And exactly. <laughs> thing back that I ever got her. She's the worst. Nobody should ever date her. I don't remember oh her gosh, name, man. but get her out of here. You see this her name? No, yeah, no, no. You, no, no. He was talking about Satara. I'm sure. You talking about Satara? Whoever just said they would send everything back oh. and tell them, no, I can't be with you anymore. Wow. Oh, wow. Oh, oh my god, man. Man, say get her out of here. Get her out of here. <laughs> get her out of here. <laughs> man, look, I agree with the same thing, man. That's that would just kill you mentally. Like, okay, well now I'm in jail for these years. Now I gotta go kill myself. I gotta go sit down in the jail. Like my girl, like she she literally left me. I have no visitation. Yeah, she sent me every day I ever got her back. She she just don't mess with me at all, like like wow, like okay, I might as well just go ahead and hang from these bars or something. Let me. All right, now I got a, I, I got a question. <laughs> it's crazy though. Huh? Now I got a question. See, all right, now you tell me. You know what I'm saying? I want to know if your girl was to go to jail, would you stay around? If my girl was to go to jail, I would stay around. I mean, you got here's the thing: staying around with somebody don't necessarily mean like yeah, like we together. Like say she get life. 
I'm still going to be her support system because I was, you know, that was me when she was, when she was out. I might, you know, we might come to that agreement that like, you know, it's not really realistic for me not to mess with nobody or nothing, but I'm never going to just be like, no, I'm sending you everything back. I'm getting rid of every trace of you. Like, no, I'm going to still come visit you. I'm going to still write you because at the end of the day, you know, we was rocking when you was out. But, I mean, I got to move on with my life, but that don't mean I'm just going to discard you because some, something messed up happened. Like, I still would be there for her even if we wasn't continuing our relationship. Right, okay, that, it makes sense. Yeah, I feel that. But, I, uh, yeah, so that means that you would stay there for that three months, that 90 days, if it, if it came across and she was in jail, you would be there for her and uh, stay with her. See, that's another thing about how strong the relationship is. She got to be more... She has to want you to be happy as much as, you know, as you care about her. Like, she has to kind of understand, like, you know what? Don't lock yourself down to me. Like, I'm never coming home. I mean, I'm glad you support me. I hope you keep visiting me, writing me, you know, and being kind of my support system. But realistically, you should go and find a mate to continue your life on, you know? It might not be immediately. I'm talking about the 90-day sentence. The 90 day sentence. I'm talking about the 90 day sentence. What, what, what are you saying? Like, would I smash somebody else in 90 days? Yeah, that's exactly what I'm asking. You were with her for two years. You you got, you know what I'm saying? You got that sentence. What you gonna do? 90 days. Not 90 days. I, I wouldn't smash nobody in 90 days, especially since it's not like we broke up, like she was taken. I would probably, I'd probably tough it out for at least a solid six months, and then I'll probably show up at visitation, like, yeah, so, um, <laughs> I feel like we need to talk about my future <laughs> with oh, a, a partner. You know, that's, that's a realistic conversation to have. Like, I'm out here, I'm holding you down, but, I mean, my biceps are getting kind of strong out here. Right? <laughs> oh, wow. That's a cool oh, man. Oh, oh, man. Oh, hey, God. um, so Terrence just takes me and she told me she's with mine. Oh, yeah. Wow. She thinks I'm lying? She yeah, said you. You're lying. Bro, I can, I would, if she, she has to understand that it's not a breakup. If I break up with a chick, yeah, 98, I don't care. But we were together. We were in love. We were happy. Two years. Yeah. Hold, on, hold, on, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. Before you say that, if you gonna serve her, then serve her. <laughs> serve her. Don't, don't, don't spare her. You try to be a cause from down the way, you gotta serve her. Okay, here we go. <laughs> 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 You obviously don't know anything. <laughs> it doesn't make sense for me to live out the rest of my life not doing anything with anybody else when, honestly, to be totally honest, whatever you did, you got yourself in jail. So therefore, if I did want to smash somebody within 90 days, that would actually be perfectly fine because you took yourself out of my life. But me being as nice as I try to be, I would try to give you six months. And then I would give you the choice to either let me continue to be your support system while I smash something else, or tell me goodbye. Oh my God. Wow! <laughs> oh my God! Oh my God! Oh my God! Oh my God! What you oh. said is, is crazy. See, you know, I like that ending part, but see, you, you, you know, you're, you made yourself a hypocrite. Because first you said it might not have been, you know, like something that was in her control. Like, you know, like I said, you might have, you know, came across some receiving store and probably you didn't know about. Or, but then you just said that it's her choice to go to jail. Like, everybody doesn't choose whether they want to go to jail or not. Like, it doesn't happen like that. I'm sure no one wants to go to jail. And fluke things happen and, and innocent people go to jail all the time. But you have to look at the crime because say she did just get caught up. Like, you know, like plus it's crazy circumstances. Like, what if she went to jail for me? What if, she, what if I was moving away and I got weight in the trunk, she get pulled over, she go to jail for 25 years for me? I, I'm obligated to stick by her side. But if she was just wilding, doing her own thing, and, and her choices got her locked up, then, then I shouldn't have to suffer, you know, because you did something that's removing you from, from you know, the population out here. So it really all depends on the crime. I put it like this. If, if your crime was under your control, you get less than if your crime was not under your control. Like, if your crime was under your control, I'm going to stick by you. If it wasn't, I'm going to give you a shorter amount of time before I come to you with that visitation and give you that ultimatum. All right, it sounds I'm good. good. I, that, nah, I understand that. All right. 
Thanks for calling in again, Andre. <clears throat> I know next time you'll call, you're probably going to have some hot words for our wordplay Wednesday. Oh, yeah, so It always is. Always. Come on, then we'll go to break. Birds in the Beats, what's going on? Yeah, man, what's going on, man? What's, what's up, what's this? Uh, hello? Yeah, you, we here. We here. Yeah, we here. Yeah, yeah, I just want to say, man, uh, my father went to jail, oh went to prison for 10 years. He was 10 years dead. Well, he did, he did seven of the 10 years. But the same one that was with him when he went in was the same one that he married when he got out. So if a, a girl can't say, hold you down for 90 days, then you might have to send a goons out the head, man. That's, that's not even right. <laughs> She's just not the right one for you if she can't stay there for 90 days, man. She's going to have to go. That's yeah, whoop her. <laughs> <laughs> I agree, man. Thanks for calling and yeah, giving us that story, man. Hey, man, shout out to my brother, man. This is his birthday, man. Y'all go oh, yeah, shout out to Happy birthday, birthday, bro. Happy birthday, bro. Thank you, bro. Good All right. All right. All right. See, that was know, the last that's just the difference between a child and a woman. Oh, you know we, what I'm that, saying? No, 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 that's a different topic. We'll hit that Monday. We're not going to talk about that right yeah, now. Yeah, I'm sorry, man. Yeah, that, you're gonna days, you're gonna man. Up, man. I'm trying to, I don't want to start nothing up, man. But since, but since we are talking about this, you know, we are funny. We are ironic in a way. We got some great songs coming to you off the break. You're going to have to drop you know, Somebody going to sign us out? <laughs> Don't do it, Randy. Randy always cool. come with some corny stuff, man. Go ahead and let Randy do it, man. He knows some Birds to the Bees signing out. <laughs> oh my God. Say something, man. Somebody sign us out, man. Go ahead, bro. We're going to get back to y'all after the break, man. Oh, man. Yeah, man. You're all over, man. Yeah. <laughs> all right, y'all. All right, man. Let's get into these bars, man. Everybody been in here all talk, man. But we it's time to hear some of these word, words on Wordplay Wednesday, you heard? It's definitely about that time, man. Definitely about that. So who's the who's stepping to the mic first, man? What's, what's going on? Off, man. Uh, well, he just threw it to you. Since yeah. Randy's yeah. throwing he me the ball six, in your court. It must be Randy wanna he's gonna be coming at me hard, so you he know, must have threw your name in there. Yeah, he must have threw my name into his uh his rap. So uh just know next week, because I got a poem today, but next week I'm coming at Randy off top, I'm coming at his neck, just savage like. But uh What's my name, man. Y'all y'all get ready. I I called this I made this poem, you know, this morning, you know, I was like, let me just make something for today. I call it the rant because I was like talking about a lot of stuff. I ain't really have like no specific topic or, or whatever, but here, here it go. Where do I begin? You tell me. From a city where we own more USBs than USDs, but yet we're balling in a literal sense, of course. No dollars, no sense, just a dream of getting big within sports. It's owned by our equals. Where do we turn? Pride overwhelming, so our bridges are burned. I don't need you and I don't need them. Independence being our weakness and strength. Then lonely, we fixate our own relationships, media is covered in taint. Because of Hollywood, we have a fake image to maintain. Designer clothes, that's the retail, times two. Again, where do I begin? Get it fake for cheap, at least we look like we fit in. Fit into what exactly? Not society, something warm and wet. That jacuzzi, that soaking rope that you told him, pulls man in like a drug that is potent. It's just the basis of where we stand. Thank you for listening to the rant. It's just something soft, well, you know. Something light. I just made that today, though. Okay. You know, some some chill. Randy right, just said, right. if y'all, I don't think y'all peep, man. Y'all see, y'all listen to Kendall, man. Y'all gotta listen to Randy, man. Randy just, that was smooth. Smooth, man. Like, right. man, that was hard, yeah. bro. That was hard. He a hater. That's what he did. I can't give him too much credit. You know, he can't get don't, don't run with it. But he, didn't, but he didn't put your name in there, though. So that's the good part. Hey, that's the part. It wasn't about Randy today. It wasn't about Randy. It wasn't about Randy today. <laughs> Well, what about next time? It's gonna next be time it's about Randy. See, you know, <laughs> see, t today I ain't have time, but next Wednesday I'ma have time, cuz <laughs> on everything. I feel it, man. Let me let's hear what Randy got though. Go ahead, drop him. Go ahead, get it to him. Oh uh, yeah, man. You know, y'all know Kendall, man. Real flashy dude, you know what I mean? It's not really me. I'm a real humble guy about me. You know what I'm saying? I'm a real humble guy about mine. You know what I'm saying he talks about his bread a lot. He's a real, he's a real flashy character. Wow. And that's how I'm gonna how I'm start it off, man. You feel me? <laughs> Wow. It's not the life that I live. But if you're talking bread, man, it's banks like Hillary. Girl look like Ashley, but her name Alicia. Please don't question me. I got a date with Destiny. Hello, it's nice to meet you. And quiet for a feature, you are just a reacher. Spitting light to the death. Go ahead, call the Grim Reaper. Come through and give hell. Bars like I'm in jail. Stay chirping like next hill. Don't talk to me, Kendall. <laughs> He reclaimed the throne. Oh, oh my God. Don't talk to me, Kendall. DJ Step Floss. You got it. Right, Floss. Wow. Ah, 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 
out of here. Wow. 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 So <laughs> oh, my God. I feel like I have a weight to throw off my shoulders. You, like Randy, you don't talk to me, Kendall. Don't talk to me, Kendall. <laughs> Randy, you know I'm going to play me. You can't mess with me. <laughs> Why don't, you, why don't you just sit back and just go right away? Oh, I have to, man. Because Randy got about 30,000 bars. And just hey, man. We're in there. I'm ready, ready. Call in. Somebody call in. Go ready, 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 ready. Ready. Let's go. We got the phone lines right. back working. It's Wordplay Wednesday. We got to hit these bars. What's happening? Yeah, hit that line. It was 419-448-2200. I didn't know about now, though. We're parodying and sharing over sneakers, but won't say after for the help that we need from our teachers. Chasing American dreams with big houses, fast cars, and diamonds that gleam, but won't change words across the page to better skills like how to read. I'm trying very hard, but I just can't reach past that gap. We care so much about the ladies that you leave your homework waiting. Make those lace delicates drop, not so delicately, then see your GPA go down and wonder why there's a false representation of we as a people that give up on our race and no longer want to teach you Saying that they can no longer be close enough to reach you. I'm trying very hard, but I can't reach past that gap. Our mouths spew and sling slang, thinking it's cool for songs to have a constant ad lib in the background screaming bang bang. Social network fame with those who make it catchy name and have the most followers. Just learning their place in life game and are really just followers. I'm really trying very hard, but I can't reach past that gap. A race who propagates. Also known as reckless spending of money and knows nothing of a budget. Tightly clutch that stylish night backpack, but when class starts, you take nothing from it. Mm. A sign I cannot stomach. Our 14% of the country's population slipping back into mindsets that could create segregation again in this nation. Mentally and not officially between races, and I'm not going to be racist, but come on now, when it comes to education and privilege, there's also a certain color or like their rub in faces. I'm trying very hard, but I just can't reach past that gap, the achievement gap. Wow. Oh, my God. You're disgusting. He be taking it on a oh, whole other level. Bro. Yeah. 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 I'll see y'all next week. All right, bro. All right, bro. Yeah. All right. Bro. All right. That man comes hard every week, man. Dude, he, he be coming he's so just man, I don't even think y'all be he's it, just, man. He's the guru. He really hold on, he is. Man. Hold on, man. Hold on, hold on. But while we was on break, waiting for I'm ready to come in here and just bless us on this beautiful phone line that we got right here, Randy and Kendall had some beef because y'all know I mean, it's been going on for a couple weeks now. <laughs> if y'all look on my Snapchat, if y'all do follow me, it's A33. There's beef in the room on 2K. They, they do this every single day. I had but to serve them. Randy just had to serve them, so now Kendall's in the back writing these bars. I don't know. I don't know if he's ready or not, but are you ready or no? I'm trying to help him, man. man. You know what I'm saying? Like, no? you help. You're not ready? To... You're not ready? Nah. Look, man, I, I promise you this. We will run over time just to wait for Kendall Bars to come back. He is thirsty, man. <laughs> <laughs> he want me to whoop this man so bad. He want me to punish him so bad. I love it. I love it. I love the controversy. But look, if the same rules apply, I'll play another song until this man's ready yeah. for his bars. He better make sure they real, real squeaky clean and real nice and tight because Randy can with fire. But when he's ready, I'll cut off, man. Just stay with us. You want to sign us off, Randolph? You do champion. We'll be right back, bro.